Hello guys, welcome to Crop Block episode 1. What is up guys, it is Sam here, aka 12 Console, and today we're going to be playing some Crop Block. This is a Minecraft mod pack all about growing plants and becoming Green Finger Steve. Um, so yeah, um, grow crop, grow plants, grow crops, um, yeah, make all your resources, uh, that way. So, no mining, no chickens, no X and Hilo, no anything like that. It's all plants. You get everything from plants. It's pretty cool. It's a unique mod pack. I've played it a few times, uh, up to a stage of sort of getting out of class level. Uh, so not very far in, um, but we should be, um, having a pretty good episode today. Um, so hopefully you guys are ready for it, and hopefully you all enjoy. Other than that, let's get straight into the action. So, uh, the first quest we're gonna hit off is um, getting some plants to grow and getting some basic crossbreeding going. So the first thing we need to do is harvest this tree um, and get a bunch of these saplings to put down there. Um, and what we really want to rush towards is getting stone. Stone is really important. Once it turns uh, to night time, you can't grow anything in the dark, so you need stone. Uh, so that is the first thing we really want to go towards. So when you start the mod pack, uh, in this one here, this is the barrel, and you have lots of uh, seeds in there. So that's really, obviously, really useful for you. You have everything in there. So the first quest is going to have us make uh, some planks and wood. So that should update itself in a second. Um, and then it's going to have us make a hoe, uh, which is fine. Um, and a hoe, obviously, is just made like that. Luckily, we were about to make one of them. There we go. So once you've done that, as you can see, it's got another quest unlocked, which is good. Um, and we've got all these ones as well in here. Nice, nice crop. <laughs> What's this one here? Stone crop stone requires more stone. Okay. Um, so yeah, the next quest, like I said, it requires us to make crop sticks as well. So crop sticks are nice and easy. If we do that... Uh, we can make a good few of them, there we go. Um, and that will unlock the next quest, once it's sort of uh, realised what we've done, there we go, beautiful. Um, and that's complete, so the first thing we want to get towards is water, um, after that we can go to stone. So water is made by crossbreeding fire and ice seed, uh, and I've got to melt the, uh, the ice, it makes perfect sense. Okay, so let's put these two together, um, so where's a good place to do it? Uh, let's just sort of, uh, I think I could probably get this island sorted out in a minute, but... Uh, for the time being, it's okay. Let's put them here, um, and we're going to want some water, so just like that. Uh, let's get ice and uh, fire brings up together. So, what you want to do is put these in these two crop sticks like that. If you uh, use a watering can, they'll grow up to full height. Uh, once they're like this, put uh, two crop sticks down like that. Uh, continue with the watering can, and there you go. You've got water seeds. Beautiful. So, I generally like to get um, sort of like three of these. Generally, is a good shout. Uh, just so we've got a few as a backup, just in case. Once we've got three. Uh, I'm happy to go. Beautiful. So we've got three of them. There's our water plant, which is nice. We do have to grow um, a couple of these up just to uh, sort of get it to the level where it's it's happy, because uh, we need to um, get the essence for it to fulfil the uh, quest, which is something we need to do. So um, let's put him here. Why not? Uh, and grow him up. And uh, once he gets to a decent level, we will get some essence from him. And uh, that'll be good. There we go. There's the essence. So what we can do with this stuff is this stuff each equates to uh, one bucket. Um, as you see, that's now full up. Don't spam click on this because it will use up all the essence even if you've got no space to use it. So just a little bit of a heads up. Um, but that's that quest completed. Pretty good. Um, and we're going to move on to the next one. So the next one we need is the stone quest. And all you do here is by crossbreeding water and fire, you get stone crops. So again, obviously, put the water and the fire down here, just like that. Um, grab ourselves a fire seed. And then all you do is you do the same thing. You just water them until they grow and put a crop between them all. I'm not going to make you guys watch it, I'm going to pause it and uh, we'll jump back in a second, so I will see you guys then. Okay, only a short while later we have uh, officially stone seeds, which is beautiful. Now obviously these guys, we do need to grow up. Um, we are quite, uh, it's quite important to do these guys. So we are going to get rid of these fences quickly, just get them out of the way. Um, and I'm going to put my stone crops just here. Uh, we're going to put two of them down and we're going to do two of the, um, of the water crops as well. They're quite important too, because we obviously use water for the watering can. So if we get them down here. Um, like that, and no vanilla planting again, you've got to use these guys, um, and we do the same with water, put two of them down like this, the reason why I'm leaving a space in the middle is because eventually we'll get um, worms, if I show you, if you hoe grass, um, eventually you'll get these worms, these are really good, what these do is, these give a growth buff to plants in the 3x3 three three area, um, you can't put a crop stick and a crop on top of them, oh, no, I'm sorry, you can put a crop stick and a crop on top of them, problem is then you can't use a watering can, so it's better just to leave a gap there and just use crops on the outside, um, and that will grow them at a pretty good speed. Um, and yeah, then you can still use your watering can in the middle. But we need some stone essence, so I'm going to grab some of that. I'm going to grab enough to make a furnace and enough to make uh, some stone tools, and I'll be back in a little bit of a second. Okay, so just a little bit of grinding later, I've got a nice amount of stone essence, which means that quest is now completed. In order to get stone, all you do is like that, and that gives you uh, stone. You can make a furnace, 
I also want to make an axe. Axe is quite, uh, quite going to be quite important, quite useful for us. So let's get him done, um, and then I would like to um, put this guy down and make some charcoal. So obviously just place him down and grow some, some grow some charcoal. Yeah, not, we're not quite at a growing charcoal level right now. Um, we are going to need a lot of trees as well, so let's make sure we obviously keep this going and get some trees grown up. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind some trees out and grind some of these crops a little bit, um, and I'll get back to you in a second when we will go towards making ourselves um, the dirt seeds, which are pretty important. All they are is wheat and water. You know what? You've seen it all before. I'll make them off camera. I'll get back to you guys in a second. Quickly before you go, I wanted to just point out, make sure if you do enjoy the video at any time and it, you are um, entertained by it, it is uh, entertaining for you, uh, make sure you do leave a like and subscribe. It helps out a ton. I'm also putting a little bit more effort into the videos now. I'm editing them. I'm putting music in the background. Um, I have changed the titles around so they're a little bit cooler and I made uh, edited thumbnails a little bit so they're not a little bit nice and obviously I'm doing jump cuts and stuff. So it should be pretty cool. If you do enjoy that, uh, make sure you uh, leave a like and let me know what you thought in the comments down below because obviously it's all about community here, guys. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. Stay tuned. Another quick tip, guys, is if you have crops down like this, so um, this is a wheat seed I just put down. If we grow them up to full height, a way to duplicate your seeds if you don't want to do it the crossbreeding way, which with wheat you can't because they're base seeds, uh, you just do this. Once it's a full height, it gives it uh, a random chance to spread to nearby blocks. If we get some more water, uh, sort of just like that, there we go. Um, if we keep uh, watering this, eventually, as you see, it spreads, and that's how to duplicate your seeds. You can do it with any seed type. Um, and it has a rough chance just to duplicate over. You can put crossbreeding stick here, but I don't think it makes any any difference. Um, but yeah, that's just a way to duplicate seeds. So what I'm going to do again while um, while we're waiting is I'm going to duplicate a seed seeds a lot um, and make sure I have sort of three or four of every type. Um, and then I'm going to grow a lot more trees, and that should be good. So again, I'll see you in a little bit when we're back. See you in a bit, guys. Okay, welcome back, guys. So it's been a little while. Um, I say it's probably been like ten minutes, maybe more. Um, basically, all I've done is I've got a lot of crops done. Um, we're going to make some uh, some chests to put it all away. Um, I've made some baguettes. All they are is you put two wheat like this. You get some dough and you cook that and you get baguettes. Um, I've got a lot of wood done, a lot of charcoal done. Um, and otherwise, we're, um, we're looking pretty good. So, yeah, what I'm going to do quickly is get some chests made. Um, so, I'm sure you guys know how chests are done. Uh, you really only need that many in this pack. Um, so, that'll be fine. Uh, well, no, you don't. You do need more, but I'm going to do that many for the time being. Um, and what I'm going to do is I normally just put plants, uh, like seed sort of things in here and greenery and stuff. Um, and then everything else, essence wise, not everything else, just essence, uh, um, in the top chest. Uh, and that's the easiest way I found to do it, just means it's sorted all out into that. Um, we will need chests for other stuff, but at the moment we're okay. Um, so yeah, what we wanted to do is get the, uh, the dirt seeds done. So dirt seeds are nice and easy to make, and obviously they're a pretty key... Uh, a pretty key part of the packs, so obviously, of what we use to expand and grow the crops on. So, uh, once I've got rid of these fences, because they're kind of annoying me, they're all in the way, um, we can get on with the dirt seeds. Beautiful. Okay. So, and that one as well. Why? <laughs> anyway, dirt seeds. So, uh, nice and easily made. They're just wheat and water. Uh, so, it should be dead easy. So, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, crossbreed sort of here. Um, where should we no, do it? Right here. Why not? Why not? Right here. Um, so, get the crop sticks there. We're going to need a few more of them, aren't we? Uh, let's do that. Uh, and make a good, nice bunch. So we've got all of them done. Good. Um, and then if we grow these two together, um, and we get, what was it again? Wheat and... Uh, wheat and water. Okay. Uh, and we get ourselves a wheat seed and a water seed. Um, we can grow these two together. Once they're obviously, again, full growth, um, like this. Um, and then we can just crossbreed them, and we should get ourselves some dirt, which would be nice. So, there we go. Uh, hold the ground there. Get you down. Get you growing. And again, what I'm going to do is, once these are crossbred and we've got one of them, I'm going to do the same little trick and just uh, do this together and get about three or so of them. Um, and that should be a good shout, a good little start for us to do. Um, as you see, it doesn't always give us the dirt that we want. Uh, it sometimes gives us water, which is great. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to do this a few times, um, and I'll get back to you once it's done. I've got some dirt, and I've expanded the platform a little bit, and I'll see you guys then. So I thought I'd just pop back in quickly. We've had our first death. Basically, I was standing here uh, watering these uh, these uh, dirt seeds, and a tree grew and suffocated me, and I died in a wall, as you can see. Uh, so yeah, just thought that was a little bit funny. Um, it was kind of good. Uh, but yeah, again, I'm just going to expand the platform. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, welcome back, guys. So the next really big step we've got in the pack is getting ourselves sand, um, as this will allow us to do a lot of things, like get our crops to 10, 10, 10, which means they produce more stuff, they grow quicker, and they're harder to... Uh, to kill with weeds. I don't think weeds are a neighbor in the pack, but still interesting. Uh, anyway, so all you need is fire and dirt essence, and that makes sand. So what we're going to do um, is we're going to get a, a little bit of fire essence, so sort of like uh, 10 should be fine. Um, and we're going to stay with dirt, with uh, dirt. 
with whatever you call this stuff. Uh, apparently this is dirt now. Like water. Water. <laughs> Wurt essence, that's what we're going to call it from now on. Because uh, apparently that's what it is. Uh, so dirt, uh, water and uh, fire makes dirt, I believe we call. Uh, dirt. Yes. Uh, so uh, that's what the game said, did it not? Unless I'm completely um, utterly wrong. Ah. Sand. I'm trying to make sand, not dirt. That's why. Sand. Okay. It's been a long night, guys. I'm really tired. <laughs> oh, you need fire and dirt. Why am I saying fire and water? What am I talking about? Uh, fire and dirt. So we need 10 dirt essence. That's fine. Luckily, we've got 10. Uh, so again, put these together. And we're going to be good to go. Beautiful. So we got loads, loads of sand from that. Dang it. Okay. Uh, so I'm only going to cook up sort of 18 or 16 of this. Sorry, we'll be fine. Um, and what we need this for, like I said, is to make ourselves one of these guys. And these will mean we can analyze seeds, work out their stats, make them better by crossbreeding two of the same plants together. And it gives you better stat crops that grow stuff quicker, which is great. So once they're all grown, um, we're good to go on that part. Um, and effectively, we're good to start 10, 10, 10 our crops. Then we're just working towards other stuff. So while that's going, we might as well get a couple of other crops going. Uh, so by means of that, I probably mean sugarcane is the main thing we want to get going. Um, sugarcane is made fairly easily. It's just crossbreeding beetroot and wheat. Now, this plant is funny. Don't make the same mistakes as me. It's trying to do it on dirt. Obviously, sugarcane, well, sugarcane, I mean, it, it doesn't just now grow on dirt. It doesn't grow just on dirt now. That's what I'm trying to say. It grows on other stuff now. But um, you have to crossbreed it on um, sand. Uh, otherwise, it will not grow. So make sure you do do that. Otherwise, you'll be spending hours doing it like I did. So yeah, just a little tip. What I'm going to do is I'm going to gather a little bit of dirt up again. Um, and I will see you guys in a second once I've got that. Okay, so here we are back with the dirt. So what we do, again, like normal crossbreeding, um, we use the crop sticks and stuff. But where it gets different is um, we've got to uh, build a little bit of platform up. And that's because we've got to use the sand. Obviously, sand falls with gravity. So, uh, yeah, be careful with that one. Uh, so you put these guys like this. Um, this block needs to obviously be uh, sand to put a nice dirt block there. And I'll show you why that's there in a second. So if we get these guys down... Um, and we hoe the soil there. Um, what we need, what was it again? Was it wheat and water? Uh, wheat and beetroot. I was, I was close, sort of. <laughs> wheat and beetroot, close uh, within like nine different crops, so it's fine. Um, put them two like this, um, and all we do, again, is you water these guys up, make them grow to full level if we have some water in our watering can, which we do not, or do we? It did pick that a little bit up. Oh, okay. Interesting. There, there, dang it, right. So you get some water in here. You put 16 in this barrel just to fill it up because, you know, there you go. Uh, I probably put a little bit more in there, but that's fine. Grow these guys up to full height. Um, and then we put our little crop sticks down there and we crossbreed these guys together. And that is simply it. Um, obviously, because only sand, or only the only thing that can grow on there is sugar cane. Beetroot can't grow on there. Wheat can't grow on there. You will get sugar cane quite often on beetroot using this technique. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty useful because obviously it means we can get it from the lot stuff. Good. So all you need to do, do this a couple of times. I'd say about four again is a good shout. Um, make sure you didn't cross for anyone, of course. Otherwise, you won't get anything. Uh, there we go. And one more for luck. Uh, do, 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 do. Can we do it with our watering can? No, we can't. Okay, we need to fill them back up again. That's fine. And we should be done. Beautiful. Okay, so that's all done. Get rid of this because it's in the way. Um, and now we've got ourselves our sugar cane, which is good. So these guys grow again a little bit differently. Um, and because he's affected by gravity. I'm going to put three of them down, otherwise they'll grow obviously a lot slower than everything else because uh, there's no worms to affect them. Uh, so we get these guys down in here. There we go. Put him back in there as our little backup seed in case we lose it all. Um, and we're pretty good go to go, really. Uh, we just want to get on to the next plant. So I'm going to uh, have a check what that is, have a little think, and see you guys in a second. Okay, welcome back. So I had a look at the quest, and I decided what we're actually going to do is make the seed analyzer. Um, as what I'm going to do between episodes is I'm going to, uh, we're not ending yet guys, don't worry, <laughs> um, is I'm going to do a lot of uh, 10 by 10 in crops and getting them to the best level, but I want to demonstrate that on camera first. So what I'm going to need is some sticks, we're also going to need some stone, uh, so I should have probably prepped that uh, beforehand, but you know, live and you learn. Um, we put some of that, one, two, three, and yeah, that's cool. Uh, there we go. Boom, beautiful. Uh, we need some stone just to make the stone slabs, and otherwise I think we're pretty good. We also need these guys. Um, so you get this guy down, you put him down, and you can analyze crops in him. You you can put an agricultural journey journal in there, sorry, 
And what that will do is that will learn what props you're putting in and it will sort of remember them and make a journal of them. Uh, you don't need that to make it work and it's a little bit difficult because it needs string, which means you need cotton plants, which means you need to breed about 50 plants together. So I'm not going to be doing that in the first episode. Um, and the reason is if I show you quickly, if we go on statistics, I've been playing for 0.63 hours, which is about uh, what, like three times as like, no, nah, what would that be? Uh, yeah, I feel like it's like hot. It's over, it's like over half an hour, isn't it? Obviously. Uh, yeah, so a decent while. Obviously, and you guys have only been watching for like 14 minutes, um, which is fine. Just means I um, am really tired from last night. Anyway, so quick thing on how this guys works. Uh, so if you get yourselves a seed, uh, let's say uh, these shouldn't be in here anyway. But let's say we use a wheat seed because uh, we should have a few of them. We do. Um, so we take one wheat seed. Let's take these two. Okay, we put them in there, breed them in there, um, and they will both come out saying. Uh, 111 seed because they're base. We've not done anything to them. We've not crossbreeded them together. Um, they are just normal seeds. Nothing special about them. They're just normal wheat seeds. Completely normal. So what we do is if we grow these guys up again uh, to full growth um, and just like that, then if we put ourselves a uh, crop stick in the middle, like a breeding one again, and we grow that up, that will then um, have a chance to breed them together and give us a little bit of a genetically better crop, which grows stuff faster and just does things better i don't like that dirt being dirt but okay um so again once he grows which he may take a little bit of time and he's even uh made me use up my whole watering can without growing which is very nice of him let's also get these plants quickly uh make sure kids grow that sucks um once he grows uh, which may take a while there we go uh, if we take this wheat now and we analyze this seed uh, it says unidentified just shove it in the analyzer and see what it comes out with this seed should be not always, but should be a little bit better. So as you can see, he came out exactly the same. Uh, so like I said, it doesn't always happen on the first turn. Uh, but um, yeah, it, it, it's, a, it's a chance it happens. So if we grow these guys up again, um, I'm going to do it this one more time. And I'll get back to you guys in a second. Okay, so a little bit later, we've got another wheat seed, as you can see. So if we now analyse this guy, again, it's a chance. It's not a definite. Um, we'll see what we get. And we've got it. There we go. So that is a 2 one one uh, seed. So if you look at the seeds, you've got three stats. You've got growth, gain, and strength. Growth means it grows quicker. Uh, the higher it is to 10, the quicker it grows. Uh, gain means the more higher the number, the more wheat and seeds you get from it. Normally wheat in this case. Um, and strength means it's more resistant to weeds. Uh, obviously, there's no weeds enabled in this pack, so that's not a thing. Uh, but if you're no normally playing agri agri-craft and you've not got weeds disabled, they basically c come along and they'll kill your plants. Uh, so that stat makes them resistant to that. So pretty good. So that's how you get that. And what I'm going to do, guys, is I am going to call it an episode here. Um, we got to the point where I wanted to get to in this episode. Between this one and next, I'm going to breed up all my plants, get to 10 by 10, 10, 10, the ones I've got at the moment. Um, and we'll come back next episode for some more stuff. What I'm going to do between episodes, I'm going to get the carrot quest done. Um, probably the pumpkin quest, um, which uh, I don't know what it actually is made. But I'll get that two, those two done because we don't really need to see them. I'll also get sugarcane, this quest done. And we'll come back and we'll do metals quests and other stuff should be really good guys but i hope you have enjoyed it if you have do hit the like button and subscribe it makes a huge difference um yeah tell me what you guys thought of the episode if you like the new editing style the new title style the new thumbnail style uh hopefully you guys enjoy it but thank you so much for watching i hope you're all alright in your lockdown um i will see you later thank you very much guys have a good time peace out